uh, Arizona, I think it's got uh, Shandala at uh, Arizona, and we have uh, Chris, Chris, Crystal uh, all the way from uh, Granada, and uh, Obdulia from California, yes, and uh, welcome to the call. And we have uh, Chad from Medicine Hat, Alberta. <laughs> ah, the, uh, can, I think, I believe everyone can hear me. Uh, uh, I, I got one person saying cannot really hear a word. I'm not sure if, uh, can, you, can anyone respond to me? Uh, if uh, if my um, mic is good, okay. Uh, hear you loud and clear. Uh, you're good, okay. Uh, so maybe uh, you need to uh, adjust. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your response. I got a lot of response saying uh, uh, people can hear me, so that's great. Okay, um, I know. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, uh, everyone, for your uh, for your response here, and I appreciate that, and I appreciate uh, all of you uh, joining us from all over the world. And I see uh, there are more and more people joining us. So I know uh, we have uh, uh, actually we would like to have a, a, a one of our new LC uh, uh, hosting. Um, um, hosting Maria to be on this uh, uh, for uh, you know to be the to be on uh, to 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 do the training. However, I just want to check if uh, the if the uh, if host hoster is is here. Maria, can I check with you if he if he's here yet or if he still have technical difficulties? I believe hoster is on the line. I can see Hi, him. Maria. Hi, can you hear me? Sherry, can you hear me? I can hear you. It's, uh, it's yeah. Hi, Hotsu's on the line and he's unmuted. Um, Hotsu, can you hear us? Okay, there might be some technical difficulty because I can't hear him. Well, well the, uh, try to unmute him and see if uh, we can get him talking. Otherwise, we need to keep, uh, keep us going here because um, it's already uh, 9:26 p.m. and uh, I know uh, it's going to be very. It's a it's a very important uh, webinar. That uh, that's why we have people from all over the world joining us. So how about um, let me introduce you and I get started. Can, can you hear me? Oh, now I can hear you. Good. You Fantastic. Got, you got, I'm you back. Got your technical difficulties solved. Uh, yes. Uh, that's the church itself. That's very good. So please Thank you, introduce Sherry. your leader, and I know Maria just uh, intro introduced you to all yes. of us, and we are very excited to have you. So Absolutely. please introduce your leader to to uh, to do this training for us. We are looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Um, I've had a small uh, technical difficulty, but good evening and welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Kotsama Kwena. Uh, I sure hope everyone has had a wonderful and a great weekend. I'm from South Africa, but currently I'm sitting here at the beautiful, beautiful Italy. I'm actually here for sports and also doing my GW business. Uh, I'm here in Venice and hoping that uh, this business will expand and become part of, the, and, and, and this, this country will expand and become part of our business in uh, GWT. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful Wonderful holiday destination here in, in, in Venice, ladies and gentlemen. This is a wonderful place, and hopefully we will expand and come up in here in, in, in Venice and, and host our meetings and, and build this nation to the building. I'll be hosting Maria Gaderi. As most of you know, Maria is a senior regional ambassador, everybody. 2014 President Cup nominee, 2014 Canada Top Anna, an Executive Choice Award. Maria has been selected as one of the top 87 mentors in the entire network marketing industry and also one of the youngest that we know under the age of 30 uh, who's, who, who she's, a, uh, she's a great uh, leader and building fantastic teams over 35 countries around the world from social media as we know uh, myself and Maria met uh, over Facebook so uh, she's very powerful and she is I consider her to be the, the queen of, of, of media and so uh, she's, she's the right person to host us tonight on, on the part two for the social media. Maria, welcome. 
Thank you so much, Hot So so great to hear from you on the webinar. And uh, yes. welcome, welcome to the call. I know you're very new, and the reason I wanted you to host me uh, because you are one of the latest people who joined Global World Trade, and yeah, uh, you joined from social media, from Facebook, and not only you joined from Facebook, but you're already building a team in South Africa, and you're traveling the world. So that was, I thought that was a great example for people to see what kind of people, some quality, amazing leaders you can find on Facebook and build your team. Thank you so much, Hotso. Your first experience with Global World Trade, being on the webinar, you did an amazing job, and I'm looking forward to work with you in the future and see you rocking and rolling the rooms of hundreds and thousands of people and doing webinars and doing the training. Thank you. That was a great job, Hotso. Well, Global World Trade family, Sherry Zhao, my amazing, amazing off time. Thank you so much. Welcome to the call. I see the numbers are keep growing. Um, I mean, social media is a hot topic. People love it. Absolutely. Why not? I mean, this is the this is the the, the new age. Everything goes technology, and and I was this I was laughing last night. I when I when I saw this little technology robot, I posted on Facebook, and I got a bunch of comments on it where the robot is actually making a human connection with people. So everything is technology. I mean. You can find people all over, uh, all over around the world on really on, on a touch of a, a click on, on a little iPhone, and you can talk to people constantly. Uh, you know, whether even South Africa or Europe, and it's amazing. And and it's just connecting people all around the world. And whatever you say, um, you know, whatever is whether if it's you know you have something to, good to say or something bad to say or something emotional to say or you have a complaint about something, you can just put it on your mm -hmm. Facebook and social media, and it will be um, heard and seen by millions of people around the world. So social media is a hot topic; it's the way to go. I love social media. I um you know I, I it's my inspiration because I get to know a lot of great great people on social media and touch um you know, places and words and lives and, and, you know, just things beyond imagination that you I would have not be able to know um, and, and experience if it wasn't for social media. And, you know, using it to make money. You're going to be spending your time on Facebook anyways. You might as well make some money with it. So this is a part two of social media. Um, and I see how there are thousands of people, uh, we, you know, we have on Facebook, each and every one of us from everywhere around the world. So the part one, I don't want to repeat the things that we already uh, talked about on part one. Um, so for those of you who this is your first time on social media, yeah, like you haven't seen the first part of social media, I strongly recommend you to go on um, to go on YouTube and find the social media and Facebook marketing part one by Maria Gaderi. So you can actually find that it's actually an hour and 30 minute, 33 minutes and 49 second video uh, where I touch on so many different aspects of social media, especially when it comes to Facebook marketing. I really talk about it in that video. Um, we last night we on this video we spoke on um, what you should be saying what you should not be saying, how to build your followers. One of the questions that came in, um, you know, if you don't have uh, people already in your network, how do you find good people like us so that you just heard from him? Um, you know, it really based on two different things. One of the things that's important is um, you uh, build a network by going out and adding people. So, you know, if you go on Facebook, there are so many different groups. Um, uh, there's network marketing groups, there are uh, MLM groups, there are uh, direct sale industry groups, there are professional business groups, there are high-end fashion designer groups. You find those groups and then you just go and add, and add people that have a good energy with you. You look at their pictures, you qualify them and you add them. So they become your audience and as you and some of my audience on my Facebook, I have around 4,500 people on my Facebook. Uh, do I know all of them? Absolutely not. I probably know maybe 25% of them. The other 75% I don't. So I just added them randomly from different places. And um, uh, you just go and add these people, and um, they become your audience. So you build your followers. You build your, fo your audience. And uh, be very strategic uh, because there's two things. First of all, your audience could become negative. 
If you have negative people in your audience, remove them right away uh, from your audience, from your friends, friend list. And if you if you do post negative, too pitchy conversations, too much, uh, you know, uh, try if you keep posting about the the not like the 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 prices and pictures and and the stuff is not very entertaining and it's too pitchy. Um, or if you post a lot of negative, uh, sarcastic, I've seen a lot of sarcastic stuff people send sometimes, or negative stuff, you also could lose your, uh, your audience. So people would just remove you. So you're going to be very, very uh, strategic and cautious of what type of image you put out there of yourself and what type of people you attract to your, to your audience, your network. Um, I, one of the places that I love to add people is finding uh, uh, public speakers such as you know Tony Robbins um, or uh, what was the other one uh, Tony Robbins Jim Rohn and these guys have fan pages so the, pe the people who are uh, who are a fan of Tony Robbins or uh, or Jim Rohn these are good people these are the people who are open-minded they are entrepreneurial mindset and um, uh, like I, I found in some network marketing group, they're just out there. Those people are actually don't understand social media. They're just in that group to pitch their business. And um, if you add them, all you're going to see is from them is pitching their business on their page. And you don't want you don't want those kind of people in your network. But if you add, but if you go on on a Jim Rohn page, for example, sometimes they have the the, the fan page of Jim Rohn or. Tony Robbins or you know uh, you just call it uh, you would see like sometimes a million followers so um, and then you could you can see on every post they do um, there's a bunch of people thousands of people make comments and then you can go and just read those comments and people who made a good comments you start adding those people those are the good people those are like a hot shot they, they are they, they are entrepreneurs they're professional people so those are where I add my people because I really like people who have the same interests as I do. And then they are now in your network and when you're, so now when you're posting stuff, they see it in their page. And if you don't post valuable stuff on your Facebook, um, you're not going to have them either accept you or, or, or keep you. So it's important, a couple of key things that you do, again, these are all repetitive stuff from the past. We already said this several times. But just for those of you who are here in the call for the first time, you do need to have your Facebook uh, pictures that it has to be your own picture. You know, the cover page has to be valuable stuff. It has to be a lot of imagery from lifestyle imagery. Um, it cannot be a lot of sales about business and product. You could kind of sneak in a couple of pieces from uh, a couple of pictures here and there from your product, but it can be in a sales pitch way. Um, it could be something like you're wearing a ring or you're wearing a handbag, you're taking a picture and you're just like so proud. Oh my God, I just got, I picked up my, my fairy bag and I, my ring is so beautiful. What do you guys think? So something that is, uh, uh, that is like a lifestyle. So it's not, it doesn't sound like you're trying to sell people something. Um, and then people are going to make comments. So um, just to review what we talked about before in Facebook marketing, um, uh, the two key, key the, the, basically the two keys that help you uh, that do Facebook marketing is basically uh, interaction, shares, and likes. So share as much as you can, interact with people, um, and when you when you make a post uh, and somebody make a comment or somebody like it, go ahead and answer uh, and make a comment back. So people are people love that you when you answer stuff. Um, I, I was actually surprised when one of the uh, the industry leaders who've been on my Facebook for a long time, but this guy has like over 5,000 people on his page. He's, uh, I have a lot of admiration for him. I actually sent him a message. I never thought he was going to answer my message. I sent him a private message just to say I appreciate everything you're doing and you know, you're, you, you have amazing stuff out there. You're posting and I follow your post and I look up to you. And I just sent him and right away he answered. He's like, thank you, Maria. That's so nice of you. I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. So it's important to be humble with people. You know, when people make a comment, when people make a like, when people share, you know, talk to them, interact with them in public, um, say nice stuff, um, show appreciation, and then make make a comment on their stuff. And you see something nice that's really inspiration, make a comment, uh, like it, share it. So interaction is very, very important. I think 
one of the reasons I get great, great people on Facebook um, and they add me or they, I add them and I find them, people like Hosto, Hosto, uh, Hosto or Marshall uh, or Azdenet, is because we do a lot of interaction on Facebook. And then when you interact with someone, the other people in other pages, th those people's friends actually start seeing um, your notes and, and your writing and your comments. So they, they start getting to know you and they want to know who you are and they start adding you and sending you messages. So as you see, Facebook is uh, still working. I left my Facebook open because I wanted to share, share with you um, uh, some common stuff that we use. Um, I wanted to leave this webinar more practical. I didn't want to put stuff on um, on the PowerPoint. Uh, we we did almost an hour and a half, over an hour, an hour and a half webinar before. So this uh, session is going to be more answering your questions. So if you do have a question about Facebook marketing, please go ahead and type it, and I'm going to answer your question. Um, you know, I'm going to I'm going to walk through your your questions. I'm going to answer your questions, and I'm going to um, you know deal with any challenge you might have in Facebook marketing. Uh, so now, so personal development stuff is very very important to post on Facebook on daily basis. Imagery is very important. Um, not only imagery of, of artificial stuff, but actually go to events. One of the reasons you should go to your company's events is to be with your team and take lots of pictures and videos and then post it right away. And one of the things I, I, I realized with some of our uh, GWT LCs, they go to, you guys are going to events, which is awesome, but then you go to events, you take pictures, but then the pages are not up to date. So you would see like somebody post a picture from like three weeks ago. So you have to post the picture when the message, when the news is hot, while it's happening. I remember Reza was telling me, I'm like, oh Reza, I was in Cambridge and I was with the team and he's like, well, where is the picture? I'm like, oh, I'm going to post it tomorrow. He's like, no, you have to post it like right now when you're in the in the Cambridge or in Mississauga tour. Take a picture in front of the room, take a selfie with the team and then just like post it right away while it's happening, post it on Facebook. So then when other people seeing it, they're like, oh man, I, I missed it. I wish I was there. So that's how we create and then when your prospects see it, when you're when your friends who are not in, in the in the um, when they are not in the in the team and they see it and some of your followers they see it and imagine like the person just came out of work or they had a bad day and then they open their Facebook and they see you excited taking selfies with your friends and an event and there's a bunch of people there's community there's excitement so they see it and they're like this is great I I wish I was there I wish I could be with these people instead of sitting at home being depressed and being upset with my boss right so. That's what um, that's what uh, something that you want to start doing. Be up to date with that. Attend the um, attend the events. Um, what else I wanted to say is um, so basically, the more you post good stuff on Facebook, the more you're gonna have followers. Now, people ask me one of the questions that came in after I've done the Facebook marketing. They were asking, so if I open a Facebook and an Instagram page and Twitter page, and I don't need to prospect, then people will come. And, and get me. First of all, Facebook marketing is actually work, like social media is actually work. It takes work. Um, you do need to be a fan of social media. Like I'm a fan of social media. I like taking pictures and posting it. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not uncomfortable to sharing my private stuff, like my private life. I'm having a breakfast, I'm having a lunch, I'm traveling, I'm having fun and take pictures and put on Facebook. So I'm actually very comfortable with those things. So you do have to be very consistent. Uh, sometimes I might actually post up three, four, five times. I remember Vitaly was like, Maria, you post way too much. I can't even catch up with your post. So yes, I sometimes might go so aggressive, which is not good, but you know, but you do need to be consistent. You can't be posting once in a while. If you post one once in a week or once in a month, it's not gonna work. So because just you have a Facebook, then you're expecting people will come and you add people and people come and ask you. No. You do have to be consistent with Facebook. Now, when it comes to prospecting, what you need to do about social media and about prospecting, there's two types of prospecting. Write it down. There's active prospecting and there's passive prospecting. Okay? So what is active prospecting? Active prospecting is um, basically forensic. Active prospecting is well you call the person and say, hi, and you build a relationship. Hey, how are you doing? What do you do for a living? Um, you know, um, when did you have fun? Would you be interested to make extra income? You know, and then you start approaching them and open the idea of earning extra income. And then you use your script and book the appointment. That's active prospecting. Um, you go to a networking event. You you get people's um, 
uh, cards and then you start calling them. That's active prospecting. Um, you go and, and post an ad on Kijiji um, or Chrysler and then people respond to you and then you call them and qualify them. That's active prospecting. So active prospecting, you're out there. You're making friends it calls every day. Um, you're talking to people every day. You're prospecting people out there in the street, in events. Those are active prospecting. So active prospecting is when you go after people, which is awesome. That's what you should be doing. Um, you know, you can't, you can't be sitting in, in a business and waiting for people to come to you. You have to go out and build your business from active prospecting. Now, passive prospecting is when you create a page, a, a blog, a page, um, you know, a Facebook, and then you people, and then you build, you build a credible, a credible brand, um, or you basically you build yourself up. If you build a bunch of followers that people believe in you, they trust you, and then they follow you, and they come to you, and they ask you about your business. So um, that passive, like putting a flyer out there with a good image and good message, and people start calling you about it. That's passive prospecting. When you have a good fan page and people call you. They message you, they, they go through your stuff and they message you, that's passive prospecting. When you create a blog and then you have keywords or you create videos on YouTube and, and people search for a network marketing company or a global wall trade and they find you, that's passive prospecting and then they reach out to you. Passive prospecting is amazing. It's like passive income. You know, it's residual income. It's like residually people come to you. It's amazing. It does take some work. And if you make a mistake, basically with building your name and your brand um you basically can can destroy that so so it's important for you to put social media like um eventually you're going to bring yourself to a point that you're going to have a lot of people reaching for you another good news is that you might not need to be a top earner to have passive prospects um you're actually just being part of global world trade is now it, it is the time that people are searching for people who are out there, part of Global World Trade, and they want to join the company good because just the company is getting bigger and bigger. So to have passive prospects, you do need to put yourself out there. You do need to have a good Facebook page with good posts. So if a Facebook, if somebody goes and looking for a Global World Trade and search for Global World Trade, does your name come up? And if they, if your, if your page come up, what are they going to see? Are they going to see a bunch of negative fights, arguments on, on your Facebook or see nothing? Like literally see nothing about global world trade other than just global world trade. Or are they going to see a bunch of inspirational teamwork, you know, uh, like a good activity lifestyle that should give them the confidence that this is the person I want to work with. Okay. So, if you do have that kind of Facebook page or Twitter or Instagram page and it says that you're part of Global World Trade, now the person is confident to work with you. They will add you and they will send you a message and they want to join your team, right? So that's what passive prospecting is. And, um, you know, so these are, these are the important points about Facebook. Now, there was a question come in. Somebody said, what's a good technique to use to attract the group, the people if I, uh, to, to attract the people if added to a group chat? Group chats are, um, I see a lot of time, time people create a group chat and then, um, you know, you see like you're in the middle of a group chat with a hundred people and then somebody just posts like, check my website. And then I'm like, okay, so. Group chat so has to be with people that already gave you the permission. So I do have group chat with my team members, with my leaders, and then my offline do group chat with me. So these are because we have permission. We already gave permission to each other that we want to be part of a group chat. So I would never do group chat uh, to with a bunch of people that I don't know and I, they never gave me the permission about uh, like a topic that they have no idea what it is. So. Um, you can't, like, group chats are not marketing. Group chats are communication. You can't, you can't do spam group chat to people. Sending a, a link through group chat is like spamming people. Uh, it's solicitation and it's spamming people, so I don't recommend it. I only do group chat when I have a group of people in my team and we want to talk about something important, so we do it in a private group chat. 
uh, when we want to, uh, when I want to talk to my leaders, I do group chat. Uh, when my outline want to talk to me, we do group chat. But we never do it with strangers, people who don't know us, and we never had any interaction with them. We never do group chat with them. It makes them uncomfortable. And it, it, these these are the little things that people do that it actually destroy your your image and your brand, and people not want to follow you anymore. So never I I, I covered this in this in the previous um, Facebook. Never send. A message the, your first message you're sending to people shouldn't be with a link so your first message has to be actually very 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 personal hey how are you doing I love your post you know I love you this you know the, the stuff that you send you know how many kids you have it has to be personal so people start trusting you okay and then when they start giving you the permission then you can talk about something more about business I, I already walked you guys through that in the previous um, uh, video so you can actually go watch that so I don't have to repeat the whole thing now uh, I want to move on from Facebook because we already talked about Facebook so much unlike uh, un unlike uh, unless if somebody has specific questions about Facebook uh, please t uh, type it for me I know Facebook is the major right now for many of us who uh, are generating leads so Facebook is a very main topic. It's a general topic. Um, if you do have a question, send it to me. I'll answer. But I don't want to repeat the things that I've said in the in the previous video. And I will. I want to move on to Instagram and Twitter. Um, if I add it to a group, how do I start a chat to build trust? You don't build trust in a group. You always build like and trust on one on one personal conversations. You can't build trust. Um, in a group chat so you actually need to have uh, so if I uh, get added or in a, in a group conversation and I see there's somebody who's interesting I would never talk to them in a group and I actually send them a private message and I start building relationship with them so you don't build like and trust in a group you build like and trust on one-on-one -on -one conversation with people now before we move on on Facebook um, I want to show you some of the examples of Facebook marketing um, I have here Oh, we have a bunch of people just made a comment. So um, some of the people who have, I love their Facebook. You might be on the, on, the, on the webinar and you might get surprised because I'm just going to open your Facebook. So some of the, the people who actually have a very, I follow them on Facebook and I love their posts. One of them is actually Sherry Zhao. I'm going to show you um, uh, just an example of what I mean by having some value on your, so like look at her picture with our beautiful vice president. This is not a picture picture, but at the same time, it's lifestyle, it's beautiful, it's interesting for someone who sees it for the first time, uh, Sherry with our beautiful son, uh, vice president, Sanaz. And she actually says Global World Trade, so if somebody's searching for Global World Trade, she can find her. She's a regional ambassador. And then I love her posts. They're not... Her posts are not uh, pitchy. She's not trying to sell people on anything. But at the same time, it does communicate that she's successful. Like, uh, as you see here, uh, five jewelry tips. Um, you see here, um, you know, posts from, uh, like, she has a lot of personal development posts that she's posting. Uh, she posts a lot of uh, awards and, and recognition of her team members. She, she posts questions. Uh, again, here's another another of a team member recognition, and there's a bunch of comments and interactions. As you see here, lifestyle with the team. That's beautiful. I love Sherry, Sherry's outpost. Here is, again, she's attending with the team to one of the, the company events. And then, like, here's an, an, again, another uh, team gathering with the team. So when, when a new person goes through Sherry Zhao's pictures and don't know who Sherry Zhao is, all she sees, the new person, is that Sherry is a busy, successful person in like the videos, personal development, and the person want to be around her. And they feel confident that this person is a credible person. They're successful <clears throat> and they want to work with her. So they're probably going to be comfortable enough to want to send her a message and say, hey Sherry, I see you part of Global World Trade. I would like to learn more about her. You can actually go to all her pictures here. You can see all the beautiful pictures that she has here. Um, so that's for Sherry. And Sherry, great job. You have a great Facebook. I love it. Um, the other person is actually Lior Scaler. Um, Lior also has, I mean, so if you don't see, you wouldn't see any negative posts on their pages. You wouldn't see any uh, you know, sarcastical posts or negative posts, you wouldn't see any arguments, you wouldn't see 
any pitchy trying to sell here's my website check out my website here's the price would you like it you you wouldn't see stuff like that they never post this stuff but all you see is great great um, personal development and inspirational posts that make people thinking um, and then team gathering and events and recognition as you see here recognition pages great questions so those are what Lior posts all the time and here's you see I see Carmel all the time uh, sharing a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, good posts from different people and when when she shares it get my attention I'm like okay so let me read this great job Carmel for 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 sharing and liking and here's again uh, Lior in weekly weekly tours and um, more more motivational and inspirational posts and there you go, a lion and Lior at the zoo. Well, that's Lior. Um, so it's good to post. Uh, like I actually, that post got my attention to actually read it. Um, fun, entertaining, nice stuff, but they're all intentional. There's an intention behind it while he's in, in he's um, entertaining his audience. And I know Lior is someone who sponsored the most people from Facebook, and he's an expert on Facebook. Renee is the same. Renee has very very interesting page I always follow his stuff uh, I love how he's always see I'm following these are my followers these are the people who show on my network what I want to show you about the product look how beautiful this person put the product together here I saw it I was like wow I am from global wealth trade and I saw these are in the catalog but when I saw these pictures people wearing the, the same watch I'm like is that a posh, a posh watch it's so beautiful and now I want to actually go look at those pictures it's she's wearing it and it's so beautiful uh, the picture being take, uh, taken and it's not pitchy but it's still it's beautiful it's still product so if you want to post product try to make it lifestyle otherwise if you make it too pitchy you lose your audience make it lifestyle make it attractive it's all about attraction marketing if you want to do passive if you want to have passive prospects who passively come to you and ask you about your your residual income about global wealth trade you want to make your post attractive attraction marketing so a lot of as you see um, you know money that's awesome so a lot of um, you know lifestyle a lot of lifestyle that you see on Renee's page so again if somebody doesn't know Renee never heard about Renee when they come on his page they know this person is a successful credible person um, so those are again. I, I we spoke about these things before, and um, another person that I love his stuff is actually Sebastian. Sebastian is awesome. I love his stuff. I mean, I always get my inspiration from his page as well. He just he just knows how to put things together. It's awesome. So you see how even like here the products are so beautiful to put the way he put together. Great job, Sebastian. So proud of you. So these are and then like the video marketing works really well. I know it's not easy, but you could even do a video with your phone. You don't have to do a video with professional camera if you could. Well, I mean, do it, but you can do it with your phone, a, 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 like a video. And it's important not to keep it only on business, but do have different topics to talk about, like post something funny. Um, people like to be entertained. They're on Facebook to get entertained, anyways. Uh, post something funny, post something, you know, make a question and then lots of people can make a comment. I made a question, Vitaly, great picture. I made a question yesterday about uh, bungee jumping and, and uh, what you like and I got like tons of messages uh, on Facebook on that post or a picture like this. This is crazy. Get everybody's attention. Um, you know, uh, I, I did make a post the other day about uh, uh, about bungee bungee jumping and zip lining and uh, I got I can't find it but I got uh, tons of uh, messages on that uh, and tons of leads and tons of people from other places from other my friends they start adding me about uh, about the post and they're like just because I was making the comment everybody making comments about it so the interaction is very important so that's a little bit about social that's about a little bit about Facebook now let's go back on uh, social other social medias now uh, write down your questions I'll get back to you on your Facebook questions but let's move on to uh, the other social social medias so the other one social media that I like to talk about is um, uh, Instagram so we didn't get a chance to talk about Instagram last time but 
Instagram recruiting is fun. Um, I have a teenager sister. She's 20, 21 years old now. She loves Instagram. She doesn't like Facebook. She's always on Instagram. And she posts the best pictures on Instagram. She has a bunch of followers there. So Instagram is hot, young, and new, and, and it's new, and it's growing crazy. Um, it's, it's especially for young generation, this is the best place because um, they, they basically use Instagram more than Facebook. So it's perfect for those of you who are very passionate about building a university or young generation team, um, it, Instagram is the best. Um, so when it comes to Instagram, it's all about hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. What does hashtag do is basically hashtags are these little soldiers, uh, income soldiers for you. So when you write down a something like, for example, like a uh, GW2 livestock, right? Then when somebody's typing and the on the search engine for GW2 livestock, they start coming across your post, and that's how they find you. So, or, or if you, for example, type hashtag, you post something, and then type hashtag, um, uh, uh, like I don't know, a home based business. If somebody's looking for a home based business and they're typing in any search engine, um, home based business, they find you and your post. And they start, you know, adding you and interacting with you. That's why hashtags are very important. Be funky, be fun, be inspiration. Uh, take lots of selfies. Uh, self, uh, lifestyle selfies. Those are the things that sells and people love and follow. Now, search for the top hashtags. One of the things that I've done, I went on Instagram on my phone. You can't open Instagram with computer. It's only on the phone. I mean, I, I don't know how to open it. So on my phone, I went on Instagram and there's a little search bar there. So you go in that search bar and then search for certain hashtags. So if you search, for example, to, you put hashtag and then search like travel, beauty, fashion, MLM, then you're going to see a bunch of people, thousands of people from all around the world who are posting stuff about those topics. And those are the people you want to follow, like hammer them, you know, follow them, uh, send them a message um, and start um and start basically uh, interacting with them because those are the ones you want to have them in your um, in your list. Um, and then when you start posting stuff on your on your social media, they start seeing it and they start making comments. And that's how you get into other um, you know different countries, having networkers and people who are looking entrepreneurs. Um, you can have them on your network and they start getting to know you and they start uh, eventually when you have them on your network they become your passive prospects they will come to you finding out about global world trade imagine you have like thousands of people like that on your Instagram and your Facebook and these people are looking for network marketing and when they hear about global world trade they're like oh I already know this person is in global world trade and they're on my Facebook or on my Instagram I should reach out about them I reach out to them so uh, one of the things that actually is very powerful on Instagram and on uh, Facebook or any other social media is recognition. So you want a lot of rest recognition on uh, social media because that attracts other people because they other people want to be recognized as well. Um, so keywords uh, and hashtags are your little income soldiers. Um, so good keywords. You need to look. I know one of the people who actually has very, very good keywords. I'm really inspired by his keywords. It's Eddie Bernas. Eddie, you're doing an amazing job. I actually something sometimes I steal his keywords. And some of the pictures he put up, I well, look at the face picture and I'm like, that's an amazing picture. And I share right away. So Eddie, you're really good at keywords. So um, always be creative with keywords, with hashtags, with um, you know pictures, because that's what makes you different than anybody else. And people want to follow you. Um, when you want to, um, and on, on Instagram, when you want to um, interact with people, you can use the word at, like the ads that you use for ads for email, and then you can um, you can actually uh, use that symbol to interact with them in the comments. So if you put at their name, then they actually get tagged, and then they answer you. They see your your message to them, and uh, that's how interaction happen, and they get interested to look at your post and see who you are. And um, basically, uh, one thing I noticed is actually more and more people are getting recruited on Instagram than on Facebook. But you do need to go out and get more people into your network. The larger your network becomes, the more people you can recruit on Instagram. But if you have a very limited little circle on social media, then that's what comes out of the middle circle. Nothing, right? You need always, you need to have fresh blood in your, you know, fresh people, new people in your 
social media network. So one of the things I do um, once in a while, I actually go on my Facebook and people that I don't, like I just cleanse my Facebook and cleanse my social media pages. So if I see I'm already reaching 5,000 and most of these people are, you know, some of these people are, they're just not very interesting or they've been on my Facebook for four years, five years, I haven't seen anything on their, any post on their page, there's nothing going on, I don't even know if this, this, this page is a fake page or a real page, then I just remove them because I want to create space for new blood to come in, for new people, because I want to always constantly have new people on my, on my page so they get to know me more and I get to know them more. So it's all about networking. So those are about Instagram and um, what I wanted to show you about Instagram is here two uh, interesting things that happen and it doesn't happen constantly on Instagram. I actually have a couple of leads on Instagram they are getting started. Um, so I post uh, the fairy red line which Reza was wearing, As again, I never use the picture from the website to post. I always find pictures of product being worn by people. If I'm not have, if I don't have a fairy red line, I search who's wearing it and they took a picture while they're wearing it because I want to make sure the picture is lifestyle. It's not, it doesn't look like it's, a, it doesn't look like it's, um, it's, it's a pitchy. So Reza was wearing it, that was perfect for me. I copy pasted right away and I took a picture and I put it on Instagram. And I saw this guy, your, I don't know what his name is, but he right away sent me a message, hey, let's connect, here's my information. And I connect with him, um, got his number, find his Facebook, and he's looking at JWT, he's joining very soon. So that was very easy because it was a good picture on Instagram. And again, Instagram has put your pictures and your, uh, it's more pictures and imagery and, uh, and videos. Instagram put it out there to millions of people. If something gets a lot of hit and something very interesting, automatically it goes on the top hit. And so millions of people automatically see your, your post versus Facebook only your people, your own friends see it. But in Instagram, millions of people see your pictures. So um, the other one is, uh, it was a video where we, we did uh, a write one night with our leadership or with the uh, Ramin's Ferrari, so we were around the city and we, we did a video. So this is a little video where we got also a bunch of people made a comment, they liked it, and then actually that video also got me some great, great prospects. So it's all about hashtagging, putting some keywords, put it out there, and then Instagram automatically, uh, if it's a good picture or a good video, Instagram automatically put it on the top head and then um, people from so many different networks around the world start seeing it and they start like hitting you and they start following you. One thing about Instagram that I wanted to say, um, on Instagram, I'm actually checking my Instagram here. Um, on Instagram, there is a section that you can actually put, the problem with Instagram that it's not a problem, but that's how it is. You can't put, it's not word, there has to be picture or video. But um, if you want people to contact you, um, you have to, you know, you can't put your website. But there is a section where it says, um, <clears throat> on the right hand side, it has a section where you can put your information, like a setting, and you can create a little profile. So you need to, in that little profile, you need to put your website, your, your phone number, if you're comfortable, if not, put your email address, and then just a little introduction about yourself. So people who see your post on the top hot, um, you know, post on Instagram, they want to know who you are, and when they click on your profile, if you don't have any contact information, they can't get a hold of you. So let's say if somebody's very interested in that red red line watch and they want to purchase it from you, if you don't have any contact information, it doesn't matter, they can't find you. So you need to have a contact information on, on your setting, on your setting profile. Um, I, I personally, I put my website there too. So if somebody's really interested in one of the products, they can click on it and go purchase it. Uh, but I, I put my gallery website, not the opportunity. Um, and then I put a little bit that if you're interested to become an entrepreneur and work with a high-end designer brand, message me and here's my number and here's my, my e email. So on Instagram, because people can't send you private messages, or at least I don't know how to do it, um, that's why it's important for you to have a little bio with your contact info on Instagram. But Instagram is huge. So that's a little bit about Instagram. Now, if you have more questions about Instagram, send me a message. I'm not an expert on, on Instagram. I did uh, sponsor people from Instagram, but I'm still new. I'm still learning about it. It's very new. It's changing every day. So 
we, you know, play around with it, have fun with it. One of the things that Instagram, uh, I like about Instagram, when you take a picture, you can edit it, <clears throat> and it's actually giving you the option when you want it before you post it. It gives you option that you can send the same message, the same image. You can post it on three different social media at the same time. So when I, I never spend extra time, go on Instagram, post something, then go on Twitter, then go on Facebook. I post one thing, it goes all in all three different places at the same time. And then in three different places, I have different network, and everybody can see it. So it's just you're saving on your time. The next one is Twitter. So Twitter is fun um, because it's all about image. And um, I, again, I'm not a big expert in Twitter, uh, but I use it, and it's fun to play around with it. Um, it's, it's, it's all about uh, images. Um, hashtags are also important. So you want to, when you want to do Twitter, you want to start posting images um, and websites and videos and stuff. Uh, and then go on Twitter and basically search for certain updates and hashtags. Um, don't go aggressive. You have to be a little bit gentle and have a little interaction conversation first and then go. So I want to show you something interesting on Twitter, actually. I did it today. Actually, before I start the call, I went here on the right-hand side. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me just check if you can see it. Okay, here. This is Twitter. Okay, so this is my Twitter account. It was so fun. So I went on the right-hand side right here, and I typed, I need to make more money. Okay, that's all I typed because it's all keyword. So, and then I get, I, so it showed me a bunch of people from around the world who post any status that has need to make money. So if you go down, people type a lot of stuff on their statuses, need to make money, need to make money. Then I came across this lady. I want you to go in and, and bombard her with messages. But she put, she put a, a page here. I need to find a way to make more money ASAP. So what did I do? I sent her a message right here. At Brittany, what are you good at? What do you enjoy to do? If you like fashion, high-end designer, and like to get paid to promote, to wear and promote it, I might have something for you. So I didn't give away, I didn't give it away, I teased her and I put a question. So now I'm waiting for her to answer. She's probably going to reply, what is it? So that's how you interact. You don't give it away right away. I could post my, my website, but I'd never do that because I don't want to give away. I want to build a trust. So she's probably going to say, what is it? And then I'm like, okay, so what are you good at? What are you looking for? Uh, we should chat. You know, do you have a Facebook account? Send me a private message or, you know, here's my number. Where are you? Are you located at Toronto? You know, here's my number. Why don't we chat over the phone? And then I would take it to the next level to build a strong relationship. So I don't give it away. It's always good to um, tease them and then have them follow you. And then you get on the phone or on a, on a, on a, on a Skype or a chat conversation where you can actually get, give more information, build some like and trust and some report before you give them the, the information. Then I, if you come down, um, you're going to see a bunch of, I actually didn't check because I was rushing. I just need to make more money. Here's another one. Um, so there's a bunch of more people. I need to more correct. Current emotion, I need to make more money. They need to make more money. So there's a bunch of people type, I need to make more money. So you start interacting with these people. Another thing that I could post once, was what's the best home-based business or what's the best MLM company? Uh, what is the best? I'm just going to try. Might work, might not. Uh, home-based business. And then it's going to give you hundreds of people who are actually looking. Oh, my God, this is what I've been looking for. Do you want to have a home-based work? So this is, this is someone who just find out about a home-based business. Or is the best international online marketing business? So there's a bunch of people who make comments. Um, about what is the best, oh here's Brandy ask, what is internet home based business, what is the best internet home based business opportunity? How great is that? She's looking for a good opportunity. So you can just go and interact and build a relationship and at some point, you know, you get their trust, you earn their trust, they're interested to learn more about it. So that's how Twitter works. Um, oh, I have Damien on Twitter, that's awesome. Follow. So that's how Twitter works. And that's a little bit about Twitter marketing. It's not, it's not anything complicated. The more you post, so when these people that I interact with them, now they want to know who I am. So they click on my page. And if I have a page with, with constant update and good update and the stuff that I like lifestyle, daily lifestyle, they can trust me. 
they want to follow me, they trust me, the trust, that's how trust get created over social media, by good posts. But if you don't post, then you become creepy. Because then now, you, if you ask a question from someone on their post, they click on your page and they're like, who is this person? So they don't see any picture, they don't see any post, so that become weird. And then people don't want to be around weird people on social media because it could be danger. Now, or if they click on your page and they see irrelevant page, a post, you know, post that has no value. Like you just fall and you injure your leg and you pick, take a picture of your, you know, your, 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 your feet got bleeding and you take a picture and put it on Facebook. Like how is that even valuable? How is that going to add any value to somebody's, to somebody's life? And, you know, those are the things that people don't want to see on, on social media. And those are the things that's not going to help you to have a good social media um, marketing. So, um, so that's a little about Twitter. Um, so interact, interact on Twitter. It's all about interaction. Um, and that's how you build your Twitter. Okay, so it's 1014. I don't want this to go long. I want to answer some questions. Okay, let's go through some questions. And if you have comments or questions, please go ahead and write it down because I want to spend this time answering some questions about that. Okay, so let's see who is on the line. I see I I bit Harry. I keep getting muted. Audio is cut off right now. Can you hear me? Can can everybody hear me? Is there anybody who has a problem with me here, like with hearing me? Uh, you're not on the air, especially on the phone. Why did you log off? Are you are you serious? Can anybody hear me? Is there any problem with? Maria, you have no problem. I can hear you. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hi, Maria. I've been in the business for a year now, and I haven't gotten anyone as yet. I have been speaking to people and showing them the presentation, but no one joined. I have been posting on my Facebook page. What do I do next thing? Okay, so war warrant. Warrant, you, what have you been posting? Are you posting about the business and about the product? Or are you posting valuable, good stuff, like the stuff that Sherry and Renee and Lior post? So what have you been posting? If you keep pitching your business and your product on your Facebook, well, that's why that explains why you haven't get anyone on Facebook. Because you need to turn your Facebook to a valuable, great, inspirational place. Lifestyle, inspirational posts, um, fun, ent entertaining posts, questions. Um, those are the things that you need to ask. So, uh, Warren, I I strongly recommend you to go ahead and listen and watch the video that I did. Uh, I did last couple of weeks. It's on YouTube, and I actually explained exactly the recipe of what you should be doing on a daily basis and what type of post on daily basis you should be posting on Facebook in order for you to start attracting people. First, second, you need to build your audience. So you, you first have a good a good album, some good, great lifestyle pictures of yourself. Make sure your cover photo and your profile photo are your own photos. And then have a, 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 an album of nice, great pictures of your life, pictures of you with your friends, some professional pictures, maybe being with the team, some great pictures. And put some great introduction about yourself so when people... When you add people, they can actually trust you to add you, to accept you. And then, um, you know, watch the video that I did and start posting good stuff. Uh, and build your audience, start posting good, posting good stuff, and start interacting on, on the post with people. Okay? And then slowly you're going to see how you would be able to attract good people on your Facebook. But again, you know, if you haven't sponsored anyone in your ABT business in the past year, it's not because of your Facebook because, again, you're not doing active prospecting. Prospecting is active and passive. Passive happen over the time. When you, know, when you add someone today, it would probably take them at least three, four, five months if you're posting everything really, really good and everything is, like, great, everything is inspirational, everything is high-end, everything is great, you're interacting. It would take two, three months for them to trust you enough to want to basically look at what you what you have to offer. So passive prospecting takes time, and it depends on how consistent you are. Uh, but you need to go out there and actively start doing prospecting. Okay, speaking to people is great. Uh, try to learn how to build relationship with people, like and trust. So 
Um, on that topic, I've done another video. Uh, actually, all of us done that. I know Renee has one, Lior has one. I've done another video on approaching. So you can actually send me a message on Facebook and I'll send you the approach video where I actually uh, broke it down on how to build rapport, how to build relationship with people, and then how to tr make the transition from building relationship to approaching them for business. Um, and then if you haven't been going to the right places to find, if you don't have any leads, then you need to watch the video on how to generate leads, where are the places that you can generate leads, offline and online, where we have another video on that. So send me a private message on Facebook and I'll send you all those videos, okay? Abdulia from United States, do you create different profiles on Facebook? I did at some point, Abdulia, but it's pointless because two reasons. First of all, um, it takes a lot of time to go check that Facebook and then check this Facebook. Um, the more your Facebook get bigger, the more people start requesting you, the more it takes time. So I have another Facebook for my per private life, but honestly, I don't even check it. Um, I just don't check it. I don't have time for it. And and um, no, I'm and I don't have anything to hide. Everything I put on my Facebook, I don't mind. My family friends know about it. They should be knowing what I'm what I'm up to, anyways. But at the beginning, when I joined, uh, I just wanted to separate these two, which is pointless. It's it takes so much time to update both and go through the both and check both, and there's no point. I mean, you want your friend and family to join you in the business, anyways. So why why not have them part of your main page? But that's me. I mean, some people might not feel comfortable because some people don't like to have their, their kids' picture to be in public or certain pictures of their family to be in public. So if you're uncomfortable with your certain picture or certain post of your life to be in, in public, then you do need to have another page, uh, another Facebook page where the things that you're uncomfortable to go on pu public, don't go on public. And then, because your Facebook page needs to be public. If you want to have Facebook marketing, you need to be in public, okay? Um, okay, the, there's more comments come in. Let me just check. Um, okay, and I see all, I love how Sherry was reading all the countries and names. I cannot pronounce everybody's name. Okay, so um, somebody says, let me check. Um, Costco say, uh, uh, so says, it's better to introduce our business as a franchise or just as a network marketing company? That's a very good question, Costco. I, I like franchise uh, just because GWT, and that's my point of view. I might not be, you know, if it's me, you know, don't quote, like, that's only me. Um, there's, you know, from the network, I love the network marketing industry, but from the product perspective, we're the only and the only one in the network marketing industry with high profit margin, high end designer product. No any other network marketing has the type of product that we have. And uh, we are the only, and also from, from the compensation plan point of view, uh, we don't have so much of all the typical restrictions of the comp plan that other companies have, such as levels and ranks restriction, restrictions, uh, levels restrictions, flushing volume. So um, by definition, because we don't have any of those restrictions that makes it multi-level, I don't believe we're a typical multi-level marketing company. And because a lot of people um, been hurt by, by the product or by the restricted compensation plans, they have a bad view. Um, I personally like to introduce my business as a direct sell, um, not, you know, not hand-in-hand -hand network marketing, like it is a network marketing, but not multi-level. Um, I say it's a direct sell, and it is in the network marketing, in the networking industry, it's a direct sales industry, but it's different, you never heard or seen anything like this, because we are different. Does it sound like a franchise? It does. Um, it is like a franchise. So, but that's me, that's my personal point of view. Um, you could call it both ways, whichever your network is more inspired. If you have a network of people who love network marketing and they're looking for the right company and they ask you, is this a network marketing company? And, and my question is, is that what you're looking for? And if they say, yes, I'm looking for network marketing, I'm like, great, then you love it. And if they say, um, if let's say if, I, if they say, is this network marketing? And if I, and I, again, I ask, I ask, is that what you're looking for? 
and they say, no, I don't like network marketing, then I'm like, well, then you're going to love it because it's not similar to any network marketing company that you've seen before. So it's, it's just it's just the matter of how you put it together. It is and it is not. <laughs> so always ask, is that what you're looking for? They say, yes, great, then you're going to love it. Um, no, great, then you're going to love it, right? So it's a tricky question. Um, somebody asked, um, how did you make video and where? You can make videos with your iPhone. Um, just, you know, just record whatever you're doing. You can do selfie videos. And, and then just upload it on YouTube, and re or even without YouTube, just upload it on Facebook. It's very, very on your phone. Like you can actually, if you have a, a smartphone, you can do it right away. Um, does a new newspaper ads worthwhile? I don't know how, so I haven't personally used it, so I can't tell you. Um, in my point of view, if you can generate leads for free on social media, why would your social media or free ad like KGG and all those places that you can post ads for free? Why do you want to go spend money? Like why? In my point of view, the only people who people who like to spend money on buying leads are people who are not willing to want to go out and learn how to build relationship with people. They're not willing to do the work, so they go and spend money on on, on, on on leads and then do cold marketing, which is fine. Nothing is wrong with that. It's just for me, I, I'm more comfortable to build a relationship with people, build friendship, and then talk to them about business instead of buying leads and buy them. But again, it's you know you could try. I haven't tried it. I've never tried um, putting ads on newspaper. And I think some newspapers are actually good because people are looking and searching newspapers for, um, you know, for business opportunity. Okay, uh, Warren said, hey, Maria, I'm amazing webinar. I find out t Twitter is very quick to the point and you only have a limited amount of characters to get your point across. Yes, it is. You're right. How do you promote a business without sounding too pitchy on that particular platform? I don't, I don't post anything on YouTube that, on, on Twitter that requires more than five or six la like words. I mark my post on uh, on uh, Twitter is more image imagery and uh, videos. So and then a few lines and hashtags, um, maybe just a status. So so for example, I I would post a status like, I love my home based business. So what's going to happen is when somebody is looking for a home based business and type and with a nice picture, type in the status I love like looking for a home based business. My page will come up. And they see my page and they see my pictures and that just shows them that this is I'm part of a good company and they want to follow and I also use what I show you earlier the status so I got it's just interact with people who put the statuses looking for a good you know home-based business um, you know I want to make more money I just interact with those people and then while I'm posting you know uh, uh, inspirational personal development and lifestyle image images on on uh, Twitter uh, Annie Mary said I have been hearing about Instagram but don't know anything about it I I heard you just said that Instagram is becoming the better way to reach for people yeah I mean there are a lot of people now especially the younger generation start using Instagram Annie Mary and um, and um, they just they just love the images, and um, and if you want to get into the new age, the younger generation, that's where you can find them. Uh, the Instagram. There are people who never use Facebook, only use Instagram, and there are people who never use Instagram. So it's good to just plant your seed everywhere. That's what I. That's what I would say. So I don't spend extra time on Instagram. I post one thing on Instagram, and it goes on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, all three places. Um, but I do have some friends on Instagram, some people that I follow that I love their posts that are they're not on Facebook. So it's just planting your seeds everywhere and you don't know where you know you find the next leader, whether if it's Instagram or Facebook. Okay, so that's about tonight uh, webinar. Now before we go, I want to sh I want to share with you something. Um, so some of the important topics that we need to talk about is first of all, um, uh, the regional event is coming. So the regional event is coming on September the 6th. I hope everybody got their tickets already. And if you're out of town, you're flying in and you're coming in for this event because it's going to be fun. 
this is the place where you need to be to take lots of videos and pictures with all the leaders, with all the successful people, and post those pictures, use those pictures and videos as um, you know promotional as promotional targeting material. So you post those things that when you're in the event, you take lots of pictures, lots of videos with different top earners and the CEO and the vice president, and then you post those things on your social media, and that's going to attract. Uh, more and more people to your pages. So that's why you need to be in regional events and you need to take lots and lots of pictures and video. So that's about that. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is, oh, the, the night before that, um, before this event, the night before this event, we have actually uh, the big large tour that's happening. So um, again, this is one of the tours that uh, when you have guests, you're going to have 100% joining ratio. So you want to start having from now, start in inviting people for this um, event. Uh, that's for that tour the night before. If you're coming from out of town, start reaching on social media for people who are living in Toronto. So start finding people who live in Toronto, add them on your Facebook, start talking to them, start inviting them for September the 6th, the 5th, I think it's 5th for the, for the actual tour. Uh, Sherry, if you can correct me if I'm wrong, if the, the Power Tour Friday night is on September 5th. So invite them on social media, start talking to them, interact with them, build relationship, invite them for the Friday night, the large tour, so you can, while you're here from out of town, you can have your prospect at the tour and basically start building a team in Toronto. Um, and then on September 6th, you will be um, in the event. So your trip to Toronto will be paid off because you did business. And you know, if you get a couple of diamonds, you can actually make money while you're here. Okay, so that's for uh, September the 5th, the, the power tour with our uh, management, with, with our CEO and vice president team, and with our leadership. And September the 6th is the big day, which is the regional tour. Uh, the regional event training that's both happening in Toronto. Okay, so that's for me a little bit um, from my part. Uh, Sherry, I know there's, if there's any other announcement that I missed, you can go ahead and announce. Other than that, we can, you know, I think we're done for tonight if, unless if there's any more questions or comments coming in. Well, Maria, thank you again for a very, very excellent um, webinar that you put together. And uh, we learned a lot from you. And uh, we all uh, let you do whatever you just, just share with us. I think it's, uh, it's very powerful. And uh, I don't have any other announcements. And I would love to see everyone next week. Next week will be our Night of Stars. If uh, you know someone that's uh, in your team, has introduced more than three people in a, in the month of July. Please, please, please submit that to your My Five, and um, you know, uh, or, uh, the new ambassadors or new diplomats. I know we have an amazing July, so make sure that you submit that to your to your to your My Five, so we can recognize the people who had done amazing in the, in the summer um, July. 2014. So uh, that's uh, that's about it, and I look forward to see you all at the next webinar next Sunday, 9:15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sherry. Have a great evening, everyone, wherever you are in the world.